Hello everyone, and welcome to this demo video where I'll share how the VMware Tanzu application platform can promote a DevSecOps culture for your organization. My name is Ryan Baker, and I'm one of the technical marketing architects for the platform, which can take you from source code to URL using a paved path to production on any Kubernetes platform in any cloud. Let's get started. The Tanzu application platform clearly defines the roles of developers and operators to enable collaboration instead of stepping on each other's toes by defining an inner loop for developers and an outer loop for operators. In the inner loop, developers can use pre-approved scaffolding defined by the operators to begin building an application and iterate on it all while previewing it and debugging it in a production-like cluster to avoid the environmental surprises associated with a production deployment. In the outer loop, which typically occurs post-merge of code, a pre-approved path to production is defined and leveraged for deployment of application code. This path frequently includes any number of steps defined by your organization, such as testing and vulnerability scanning. These paths to productions are defined in the Tanzu application platform as supply chains, and in this video, we'll demonstrate an out-of-the-box supply chain, which for a given source code location, will test the code, scan the code for vulnerabilities, build an image, scan the resulting image for vulnerabilities, and finally, apply standardized configurations and then deploy the application to a Kubernetes cluster. Now that we've reviewed the steps of the out-of-box testing and supply chain, let's take a look at how this works by deploying a sample pet clinic application, which is a Spring Boot application using Maven. We'll start by creating our workload via the Tanzu CLI. To do this, we only need to provide a few pieces of information. The name we want to call our workload, the location and branch of the source code, the type of workload we are deploying, which drives which supply chain to use, and the name of the Tekton pipeline to use for our integration tests. Once we submit this, choreography takes over to step through the supply chain we outlined previously. In order to watch cartographers step through the supply chain, let's watch the pods that are being launched and examine each step. As mentioned, the first step in our supply chain is to perform our integration tests and you can see the testing pod has automatically started. Since the pet clinic application was built using Maven, we are simply performing a Maven test to run our suite of tests defined for the pet clinic application. This will take some time, so let's fast forward. As you can see, 40 tests were executed and there were no failures. Now that testing has completed, let's see how this supply chain puts the security in DevSecOps. As you can see, the next pod that has been launched is a scan pod which is using the Gripe scanner to scan the application source code for any vulnerabilities. Once completed, the scanner will upload the results to the Tanzu application platform's Metastore so that the results can be viewed and archived. Before moving on to the next phase, let's take a look at those results to see if the scanner discovered any vulnerabilities. We can inspect the results by providing the repository, and if desired, the specific commit SHA. The results of our source code scan show that all software libraries used as well as any vulnerabilities associated with those libraries. In our case, no vulnerabilities were found in the source code. After the scan phase, we can see that a build pod has kicked off. The next step of our supply chain is to build the image using the Tanzu build service, which uses cloud native build packs to build OCI compliant container images using years of best practices and optimizations and security. These build packs analyze the source code to determine if they are applicable and if so, are executed against the source code to build the required layer images, which removes the need for your operations and development teams to build and maintain Docker files, which streamlines the build process. Again, this process can take some time, so let's fast forward to the end. The image has now been built and uploaded to our container registry. Now that we have an image, the next step in our supply chain is to scan the resulting image for vulnerabilities, again, using the Gripe scanner. Similar to a source code scan, once the scan is completed, the results are uploaded to the Tanzu application platform's metadata store. Let's take a look at the results. For the image scan, we'll supply the digest SHA of the image that was created, which allows us to view all the packages that were found in the image and what vulnerability exists for each package. Conversely, if we wanted to search for any images that had a specific vulnerability, we could do that as well. This would allow your organization's operations team to quickly find any applications which have been deployed on the Tanzu application platform which have a specific vulnerability. The final step in our supply chain is to use predefined, pre-approved configurations for the workload type and deploy the application to your Kubernetes cluster. 
Let's take a look at the GUI for the Tanzu application platform to see our deployed application. From here, we have a wealth of information about the application at our fingertips, including the team who owns the application, where to find the source code, and any supporting tech docs. If you drill into the workload, we can see all the metadata available for the workload, as well as the routes and revisions of the deployed application. If we step back to the overview, we can use the URL link to view our running application. And look here, our pet application is up and running. To review, we supplied the Tanzu application platform with our source code, and with no involvement from the operations or development teams, we went from a source code to URL using a pre-approved path that included integration tests, scanning of the source code, building the image using years of community developed best practices, a scan of the resulting image, and application deployment. If you'd like to learn more about using the Tanzu application platform, please visit tanzu.vmware.com.